Alright guys, today we're here with another true form omniversal gun skill. And I'm going to dive into the deeper parts of him. The true form omniversal god, oh my god, is more complicated than it Because GHI Godzilla, the main GHI before, which I'm just going to call GHI Godzilla Prime, that's not Blackzilla and the other variations of Godzilla, is one out of infinite versions of himself. Basically, identical versions of himself from infinite timelines across all of existence. None of them have been able to reach the true form of universal God. And the thing about it is, there are infinite, and in every single timeline, each timeline has a omniverse God physical form that can exist anywhere at the same time. That is all connected to the Moth true form, who is controlled by the true form of universal God. And literally, Every reality has a mock true form of universal God. But there is only one true form of universal God. And that does not exist in any reality. He exists out of every single infinite reality. That means the Godzilla verse that has every Godzilla verse has a true form of universal God and it. I mean an omniversal god, physical form, and a mock true form of universal god. But the real true form of universal god exists out of the concept of reality itself. And exists in a higher plane of existence. And here's how it went. The true form of Omniversal God first created fiction, which was the Godzilla verse and any other canon things to it, like Vengeance Verse, like the Vengeance Verse, Mazzilla's verse, Raidzilla, uh, Godzilla's Destroyer, any of those verses. The Omniversal God, I mean, true Omniversal God created. And then he. The creator of all create the real world, which is humanity. So basically, like how capsule are I forgot that one Goku who was able to fuse with humanity or fuse with the audience. The true universal guy created like the real world, like the world that we live in in my story, and he is literally above basically every other character. It's not even close. Because the true following verse God created everything that, and he is the concept of existence. He existed before existence and there's nothing came before him. And since he created everything, he literally cannot die. He's not able to. He created the concept of death itself and it does not apply to him at all. He is the highest state of immortality that he could be and somehow he wasn't able to kill his own creation, GXI Godzilla. But in the fight, GXI Godzilla and his Kaiser form, which would be like Goku for Super Saiyan Blue, the, the Omniverse God was easily beating this form, fodderizing Kaiser Godzilla without even using any of his power. And his beams move at irrelevant speed. There's literally like no way to even calculate how fast. It's faster than immeasurable, it's irrelevant. And it exists at a much higher plane of existence. And well, is he existing in the paper realm? No, he exists in a realm outside of time. So he literally created something that is not even in his realm. And he overviews the entire existence itself. The true form of universal God also can wipe away all his creations. And he can create as many in above infinite versions of all his infinite timelines. He can just continuously create stuff. And the crazy thing is all of the Omniverse that you see in the Omniversal God physical form chest. Yeah, that's an Omniverse. The chest of the, Omni of the Omniversal God physical and mock true form. That's literally an Omniverse flowing in it. In a creation. So he is creation himself. And also, you gotta get to... The true form of universe God, who also has this warp orb in his chest, and that is also pretty crazy because that also confirms all existence is in him. He is life in the concept of that. He is existence. The true form of universe God can defy any other character. He can defy creation itself. And, if you want to, he can go into our world, the real world, and basically destroy it pretty easily. But, when GXI Godzilla and the Universe got fought, 
Dark vs. God destroyed all of his creation. I mean, the real world, which is the world that we live in, not the uh, the non-fictional world. Basically, like the real world, with real human events, and every single episode timeline of GXI Godzilla, which killed all those guys, and every other infinite timeline, everything was destroyed. GXI Godzilla was able to overpower this, and with the beam alone, he was able to bring all of that was destroyed back. And the thing is, the Omniverse God could just recreate it whenever he wanted, after he would have won the fight that he thought. He could just recreate everything in his own image again and start over. And this is not really the first time. I'll be back in another video. Peace.